Hey, it's Dr. Ward. Today I'm going to be showing you how to floss with braces. So anytime you're flossing, it's really important that you floss all the way to the gum line. That's where plaque tends to collect and it tends to cause inflammation in the gum tissue. When you floss with normal floss, it's, it's difficult to do that with braces because there's this wire that kind of blocks the floss from going all the way up to the gum line. And so I'm gonna show you a few different ways to floss and get the floss underneath that wire. So the first is by using what's called a floss threader. Looks like a, kind of like a plastic needle. And with the floss threader, you basically are gonna take some traditional floss and you just pass that floss through the hole on the floss threader. And then the floss threader is really just a tool to help guide the floss underneath the wire. So with that plastic tip, I can get the floss, I can pull it underneath the wire. Now that the floss is underneath the wire, I simply pass the floss between the teeth and take it all the way up to the gum line, go up and down to wipe all the plaque in between the teeth, and then I will pull the floss out and I repeat that process for the next contact. Now the problem with this particular method is that it is time consuming, okay? You have to do that between all of the teeth and so it just takes a while. So the second method for flossing with braces is a little bit faster and it uses something called super floss. The super floss is basically these individually wrapped pieces of floss and one end has this kind of stiff plastic tip and so this allows you to guide the floss underneath the wire and again once you have the floss underneath the wire you pop it between the teeth and guide it up and down all the way up to the gum line then you pull it out and you go to the next contact so a little bit faster with the super floss the third method, and this is really probably my preferred method, what I recommend the most because it tends to be the, the quickest and, and easiest, and that's to use one of these special floss picks. Everybody's seen these before. Now, in order to do this with braces, you have to get special ones that are made to be used with braces. And the reason that these are special is because they're really thin on one side. Okay, and because it's really thin right here, you can actually take that and you can pass it underneath the wire and now guide the floss all the way up to the gum line. And then you just pop it out and pop it into the next contact. And so you can see how much faster it is to use something like this. Sometimes these can be a little bit challenging to find in stores. Um, I have seen them in Target and Walmart and Walgreens, but sometimes they don't have them. And it might be easiest to just go online and order a big package of them. This particular brand is called the Platypus. I've also seen other brands. The main thing is you want to make sure that the packaging says that it's made for braces and that it has a really thin side like this so that you're able to get it underneath that wire. The reason that flossing is so important with, with braces because even if you're really, really good at brushing, you're never gonna be able to get that plaque that's hiding in between the teeth. That plaque in between the teeth can cause major inflammation in the gum tissue. It can also cause cavities. And so it is important that you remove that plaque on a daily basis and therefore you need to be using one of these methods to floss your teeth when you have braces every day. So hopefully that helps you understand the proper way to floss with braces. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment below or you can talk to us in person at the office.